The graphic user interface for the software is shown here. On the first tab is the pre-scan software, and that's used for all of the activities that are required before you do an AFM scan. At the top of the screen is the selection of the scan mode, either vibrating or non-vibrating. Additionally, there are parameter input files, which are used for selecting system files for the particular type of scanning that you'll be doing. Next are the laser alignment capabilities, shown here there's a red dot alignment, and it shows the position of the beam on the photodetector. Below that is the tune frequency screen, which is used for optimizing the parameters for vibrating mode. Finally, we have the manual Z motor control, which allows you to move the motor up and down in the stage, and the automated tip approach, which you start here. The next tab is the topography scanning tab, and it's used for acquiring images with the microscope. At the top of the screen are the left and right image, which are displayed as the data comes into the microscope. Below those images are two oscilloscope screens used for displaying the 2D profile of the image as it comes in. The bottom left are the scan setup parameters, that's the scan area and the scan range. Next to that is the Z feedback parameter settings, and next to that are the display settings, and those are used for selecting the channels for display and the visualization of the display in the microscope image. Finally, there's capabilities for centering the scan and the Z axis and retracting the tip. The next tab is the system tab, and this is used for selecting different system setup functions. For example, there's a button here for setting the XY gain to zero, which is used for measuring Z noise in the system. You can change the Z high voltage gain to get better noise performance from the system. And finally, the calibration settings for the particular scanner that you're using. The final tab is for measuring force distance curves, and this is a standard feature on many of the atomic force microscopes and allows you to measure the deflection of the cantilever as a function of distance from the surface.